Scientists are searching for megastructures in space that suck energy out of black holes. Here's what you need to know. Scientists are considering whether Dyson spheres, hypothetical megastructures built to surround stars and harness their energy for alien civilizations, could also be built around black holes. A study published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society Journal looked at six energy sources inside black holes, including friction generated inside their accretion disks and energy from the relativistic jets blasted out from their poles. Scientists involved told Live Science that because black holes pack a huge mass into a relatively small amount of space compared to stars, building a Dyson sphere around them to capture their energy could save a lot of material. If these structures do exist, several existing instruments may already have detected the unexplainable ultraviolet or infrared signals they would send out into the universe, and the scientists are now trying to develop algorithms that could identify them. There are several forms a Dyson sphere could take. Aliens could place satellites in stable orbits around black holes before collecting X-ray energy using devices like solar panels, according to one study co-author cited by Life Science. Or they could surround it with a ring-like structure. Whatever kind of structure they chose, they would be dealing with 100,000 times more energy than a star like the Sun generates. But black holes are also less stable than stars in terms of energy production, with bursts of activity followed by periods of quiet as they consume larger and smaller amounts of matter in their disks. Any alien species would have to be wary of particularly large bursts that could destroy orbiting structures, according to Macy Houston, a doctoral candidate in astronomy at Pennsylvania State University who spoke to Live Science. Humans, of course, are a long way off from being able to harness the power of either stars or black holes in this way. SciTech Daily explains that any alien civilization capable of a feat like this would be classified a Type II civilization on the Kardashev scale. Type 1 on that scale is a species that can harness all energy received on the planet from a neighboring star. To enter even this category, according to Futurism, humans would need to boost our current energy production over 100,000 times. Type 2 on the scale would involve not just transforming starlight into energy, but controlling the star itself, which is where the original concept for the Dyson Sphere kicks in. Finally, Type 3 civilizations would be able to travel across galaxies with knowledge of everything related to energy, turning them into a godlike master race. Think. You after five coffees and no sleep level of post-physics thinking. One popular idea of what space debris recently discovered by NASA might be is a Dyson Sphere, essentially an energy-absorbing megastructure that envelops a star. This hypothetical planet-sized structure functions as a power station, capturing the star's energy output and eventually energy from the surrounding galaxy, harnessing energy from the sun like a solar panel. Another idea is that the structure may be a swarm of thousands of satellites tethered together, collecting energy and sending it to a central location. This idea is similar to the notion of space-based solar power, where a gigantic spacecraft placed between the Earth and the Moon would collect energy from the sun and transmit it to Earth. Freeman Dyson, the man who popularized the Dyson Sphere concept in 1960, has sought to distance himself from it. Still, that hasn't stopped the concept from being used in science fiction, comics, and even television. Bored users have crawled out of the social media woodwork, pledging to storm the infamous Area 51 because why not? According to CNN, over 300,000 people have signed onto a September 20th Facebook event to raid Area 51 in Nevada and see them aliens. It's a prank, obviously, which everyone knows, right? The game plan, says leader Jackson Barnes, is to put monster energy-fueled Kyles on the front lines since they like punching holes in walls so much. They'll have rock throwers chuck pebbles at the enemy, less to hurt and more just to annoy. And the pièce de résistance? Battalions of internet folk running Naruto style and moving faster than any bullet. Those poor soldiers won't know what hit them. Come September 20th, we'll finally know what extraterrestrial wonders or horrors the U.S. government is hiding in the mysterious military base. Well. That or someone gets in a spaceship load of trouble and gets their memory purged. Either way, can't wait. A star close to our solar system was found last week to be playing some pretty weird jams on the radio. Well, not exactly. The Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico discovered peculiar radio signals coming from the star Ross 128 in the Virgo constellation. Scientists say the reason for this could be one of three things. The signals could have originated from a solar flare, 
from something else passing in front of the telescope's view of Ross 128. Or it could simply be a radio burst from a high orbit satellite. Researchers say the recurring hypothesis that aliens are behind the signal is at the bottom of many other explanations. So it's probably not ET or the Death Star, Spock or the Saiyans. A 1973 theory regarding contact with the Little Green Men is making headlines this week. MIT radio astronomer John Ball reckons that aliens aren't interested in Snapchatting with us because they don't want to hinder our evolution as a species, aka zoo theory. Basically, Ball reckons that all advanced alien civilizations abide by a space code whereby they don't intercede with Earth until we're developed enough or never. Apparently, there are also intergalactic germaphobes. Interaction with us may end up with them getting a gnarly cosmic infection, and that runs contrary to everything Hollywood. So, screenwriters writing yet another factory blockbuster featuring evil aliens may want to think twice before stereotyping an entire alien species as the villain. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.